What's up guys and welcome back at Today's Gone. And today, we've got a personal Weaver. mission for oh, Weaver. Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. <laughs> Heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's a Mennonite or some shit. No, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. So we're really about to go get this dude's MP3 player. Are you for real right now? To be honest, I'd probably want it to. Being real with you. That would, uh... That would suck to be stuck in that cave without any sounds or noise or anything, just like the machines whirring and stuff. I, uh, I would definitely, definitely want my earbuds. Okay, so, um, looks like we gotta go pretty much straight ahead somewhere over here. Let's, uh, let's get after it, man. Going to get Weaver's MP3 player. He hasn't even told us where it is, but we're gonna try our best. Say, John, you there? Weaver. Yeah. I can barely hear you, though. You're breaking up. This is damn cave, man. I'm surprised this thing gets out at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay, yeah, where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college? Uh, the one east of here. Oh, the one Sarah and I were just at. Yeah, that's the one. Over the fight, glad to some shit. Yo, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tomb. Oh, shit, I gotta go. Sounds good, bro. We sure. can go get that for you. Whatever you say. The only problem is there's like a freaking horde or something guarding that entire place. It's like infested with nests. I'm pretty sure there's a horde. It is nighttime, so that's working out in our favor. But, um... We'll see if we can find it for you. Tow truck there. Uh, we should probably we should probably get some gas. All tow trucks have gas in them, so we're gonna gonna make sure we're filled up. Sixty five percent going into a horde territory. I feel like uh, I'm not I'm not trying to die today. Here we go. We got some some missions to do. This should be an exciting episode, guys. We've got um, we've got this. We've got something for the colonel. We've got to go chase down somebody and take them out. And then I think. Uh, I think we're going to be doing something with, with O'Brien, and we're going to have, like, the, the big escape plan, hopefully. We'll see what happens. I just took a wrong turn. But yeah, it should be, it should be a fairly exciting episode. Are you sure this is a good idea, Deacon? And a beacon. Bro, thi this is scary, but I'll take it. I think we're going to get another injector here. Good. I'll take health this time. I'm pretty sure that gives us full health too. Yeah, nice. All right, we're up to 200. We sure going through this cave is is like a, a solid idea though. I guess so. We're not dead yet. This isn't the same way Sarah and I took. I don't know if this is gonna be the same community college or or not. I think it might be. Weaver, I'm here. Say, John. All right, man. Hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Oh, tell me anything else. I mean, come on, they all kind of look the same. Yeah, it was near a flagpole, a big one, yeah. flying the good old stars and stripes. All right, a big flagpole. Okay, all right, well, I'll have a look. Saint John out. Some t Are you freaking serious, dude? There's no way. Shit, horde figures. Down on that football field. I think we're gonna. I think we're just gonna have to have to train them out of here. There's no. I'm not. I'm not fighting another horde. I'm sorry. We fought a horde in the last episode. 
It did, uh, it did not go well. What's up, boys? I'm looking like a snack. Don't worry, I know it. Oh. My goodness, dude. I'm hoping we have a way out of here. We do. Oh, there's a car alarm right there. We could potentially set that off, but no, I'm... I'm just gonna leave these boys out of here. Slowly but surely. We're just gonna lead them away. We'll lead them, like, underneath this bridge or something. I'm pretty sure there are more... More zombies that come out from underneath the bridge. I'm really worried about the gas situation. I didn't think about that until now. We should be able to outrun these fools. The question is, is whether or not we got all the ones that are back in the freaking base. You know what I mean? Hold on, I think they're... There should be a back entrance back here. We gotta be quick. We gotta be slick and quick. God damn it. Here it is. Hurry up. Gonna check the back ones first, farthest away from the motorcycle. Not there. Can use that. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. Oh my god, dude, go! I can't believe we found it! Just go. Just go. We better not freaking run out of gas. Is there any gas station? Oh, we're gonna go right by a gas station. Oh. My. God, dude. That was terrifying. Gotta go through a little town over here. And we're, we're on the op- Oh, God. Please don't wreck the bike. We're on the opposite side of the, uh... Opposite side of the campus from, from where we led that horde. Whew. I was a basket case of just anxiety that entire time right there dude they do such a good job with the hordes and making you scared oh man thought that red thing was going to be a gas can right there we should have uh should have plenty of gas to get back plus it's daytime now that literally worked out perfectly so we should see fewer fewer freakers on our way back imagine we get ambushed right here and killed off the tank Ambush and kill when we have the MP3 player. I would I would lose my mind. Dude, that was terrifying. But we uh we trained them, baby. Them zombie trains from back in the COD days. We knew exactly what we were doing. Hey. Hey man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. oh man, what do we have here? Oh! Brother! You're a lifesaver, dude! Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Ooh. I just risked my life for that. Hey, St. John, you want to do ones, man? Brother from another mother. <laughs> He's listening to some, like, techno kind of, I don't know, that honestly sounds kind of like a, a GTA-type vibe, you know what I mean? But, uh, anyway, alright. He's not that big on tunes, my goodness. I'm not that big on tunes based on what we just had to do for that, but we're going to be okay. Every day lived is a... Uh, Corporal. Hey. A new, I don't know. Opportunity to grow? I have no clue. Anyway, we're going to head on out. I think we're... Oh, just ran that dude over. I think we're on to uh, a mission for Sergeant Dick Breath. So I'm just going to... Just going to change his name there since I can't stand the dude but uh, I think we've got a soldier that went AWOL or something I don't know let me see see what's going on Loke oh yeah he was a spy and then he went AWOL so we're gonna go nip that in the bud word of caution Captain Curry tells me he was one of our best riders if you let him get away you'll be able to catch him oh this is gonna be a chase mission St. John out do we have all of our ammo if we don't have all of our ammo... A closer look. Oh, we've got a decent amount. Okay. Got the fire here. Got a dead guy. Any chance... 
There's an ammo crate around here? I don't think there is. We're gonna be okay, though. What do we got? If we can hit him with the 50 cal at all. Still got Colonel half spotted him. Shoot. We just may have to get off the bike eventually. Oh, come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! No! Whoo! I don't get away, Deej. We're fine. Well. Oh, come on, dude. Are you. <laughs> we lost the mission. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so we're, we're going to set our bike up for success here. This time we're definitely not going to be, uh, not going to be flipping over it. And, uh, we're going to see, I mean, now that we know what he's going to do, we might be able to get, get two fifty cal shots in, which would be extremely clutch. Let's take a look around. Take him down to about half health. Got the nails. All Pick right. all these bad boys up Where? again, and let's do it. So we need to turn around, run left towards that ledge. We're going to try to get two shots off. And see what we can do. Oh, come on! I'm going to make this easy on me, are Damn it! Why so Woo! Dude, we honestly probably could have gotten a third. But I'm going to wait, each. Let's go, Deke. Let's go. Go, go, go. We honestly might have been, if we could get a third, he'd, he'd be done. He'd be dead already. Stay on the main road, just in case. Can't have that many mollies, bro. Does riding through the fire really hurt us that much? I'm not even sure, dude. I'm gonna run you down. Oh, are you? Oh, God. Got him. Oh, God damn. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That was the best one yet. We did have kind of like some early info, but we got her done. That was, that was fun. How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, I think I already did. It don't matter much to me one way or the other. Goddamn anarchist. I'm gonna be honest, he did hit our bike pretty spot on with that molly. Oh, God, I'm transmitting the coordinates now. Good work, Corporal. Colonel, reporting in. Did the uh, patrol get the prisoner? Corporal, I'm afraid not. When they went to retrieve him, he's dead. No! Damn. Yes, he killed himself. We're not sure how. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I guess he was right. Don't be. Whatever knowledge he had about us, died with him. Yes, sir. St. John out. I mean, that... Corporal St. John out. That kind of yes. sucks. All right, I'm going to refuel and repair here. Going to spend a decent amount of money, but that's all right. Uh, I was thinking about some... Um, what should we do, yeah, man? Should we... Yeah, I heard. Saddle 4, we need trust level 3. We can do a gas tank 4. I'm going to go for that. He saved it. My arm. Increases the fuel capacity. Looks good to me. Frame. The doc was... He was all right. It's gonna spend pretty much all of our all of our money. Tires, yeah. All right, I think we're good. I like I like keeping a decent amount in our bank just in case we want to buy some cool weapons and stuff. But uh, that's that's good stuff there. All right. Um, what uh, do we have anything for main missions right now? I don't think we have any main missions. Well, O'Brien just hit us up. Holy cow! They got Nero choppers yeah, up in the air I and stuff. Something is uh, something's going on. He asked that we go meet him at these coordinates over here, so we are on the way. You guys remember last episode? He uh, he said he was going to be willing to help rescue Sarah as long as we did one more thing for him. So we're gonna see we're gonna see what that one thing is. I'm excited, man. Let's put some plans in action. Let's get it done, and let's get the heck out of here. I'm trying to get back up north. Meet back up with Boozer and Ricky and Iron Mike and all those fellas and 
So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? Get out of here. He's alive. Your wife? Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Mm-hmm. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. <laughs> exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure What? By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> We're gonna have to go all scientist on this fool. All right, well, I, I guess we could do that. The tracking signal is coming from somewhere around Mount Scott. There's a cave. The subject you're tracking has a super elevated metabolism. We think it might be headed there. If there's something else, we'd like you to check. We did send a team in on foot. They never came back. Just let me know if you find them. We got people here looking for some closure. <gasps> oh, God. Well, so, uh, what else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? That was not ideal. <laughs> You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo jumbo. So you're telling me that they sent a team out here and that team never came back and there's some sort of a crazy mutated well, super Brian, hungry zombie in here. Head, man. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Oh, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it. Out. We gotta go down into a cave with a super mutant oh, freaker. Alright. How many men are in Good here? talk. Well, how many did you, did you lose? By the way, guys, we have, uh... A new sidearm here, Format. as well as a new RPD. A researcher and three some weapons. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. O'Brien, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty, or the lack of it, affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60, mostly, were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who was exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. <laughs> We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. <laughs> 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. <sighs> yeah, well, probably would. St. John out. You know, I really hope Sarah's back at the camp enjoying herself in her nice, warm, cozy cave. And uh, I hope she's working on a fix for all this crap because this is not looking good. Anytime they give you a med kit. What the hell was that? He went that fast. You know O'Brien, stuff's about to get real. Found another one of your men. ID says his name was H. S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. His radio's been dead for twelve hours. All their radios have been dead for twelve hours. I don't need to ask. 
Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. Maybe down here. Yeah, you know, O'Brien, yeah. you're not very welcome for this, man. There's one. I'm doing it for Sarah. Got some blood splatter. Uh, must be Cooper. What the hell are you doing down here, man? Yeah, that doesn't look. Oh, found his body. O'Brien. Sorry, Coop. I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. Oh, no! Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, uh, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. Where's that? He's down. Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? He's all but come dead, on. bro. His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no. My, he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Chen. Get Chen in here now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I just didn't see it coming. You told me that a freak did all of this. Richard. Richard. Cooper! Cooper, are you there? Oh! Chen? I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? What are the odds we're going to be able to leave without seeing this thing? What do you, what do you guys give me? I'm going to go with a 0 out of 10. Dude, this is like some of the most scared I've been in this game. So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? Talk to me. The guy's at the lab. Reacher. Reacher. Come on! Long arms, close. It's just... fast. We've clocked it moving five miles an hour. We gotta reload while he's running. And yeah, it's strong. Maybe you should abort. I don't know. Hell with that. I'm not aborting anything. This isn't your fight! It is now, say Joan out. Woo! Dude, I think we're gonna be able to get him. Bro, this shotgun is the freaking best! Yeah, we're bound tracking device. Take it. To take it, we can use it to guide you out. Okay. Wait, how, how, O'Brien? We have infrared. We can track the horde's movements. Take it! Did I get it? I think I got it. Dude, that was insane! Oh, Jesus. And a little easier than I thought, but we'll take it. Bro, he looks more like a human. Oh. I hope this was worth it, O'Brien. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Are you serious? Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. Guess you won't be needing this. We've gotta clear the horde here. Oh my god! Hold on a second. Back up. Back up, mother suckers. Back up, mother suckers. I got an RPD. 
And I ain't afraid to use it. Dude, what are the odds that we decide to try out an RPD on the day that we have to face a horde? Woo. Oh god. Get out of there, Deke. I have to reload! We're good. We're good. Heal ourselves. Reload this RPD. I think we might be okay, dude. We got this new deagle that one-shots him. Is that everything? Oh my god, we freaking did it! Woo! Oh! Oh! We should have upgraded our pistol a long time ago, dude. When we were at the base, before uh, O'Brien called us, I decided to try the RPG just for fun, because we hadn't used it yet. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out. No I saw that you. pistol, the Deagle. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Imagine we would have bought that deagle like five episodes, ten episodes ago, dude. Not ten. Couldn't have gotten it that early. But like five episodes ago, we could be one-shotting fools in the chest. Whew. I'm going to be honest. I I am surprised that we were able to take out that Reacher that easily. He, I mean, it was just boom, boom, ch -ch -ch, boom, boom. Ch -ch -ch. That was, we were very fortunate. We, we had the right weapon. We've been rocking with that shotgun for a while. Brian. That thing hooked us up. Men die from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't know what it takes to survive. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. <laughs> <laughs>